should walk around the block, could walk around the block for your good health, don't walk around the block. See, you're on the wrong track. Should read, could read, don't read on the wrong track. Should call, could call, don't call on the wrong track. So what happens here is when you say, I can't, when you lie, when you focus on your failures instead of your successes, and when you surround yourself with people who are judgmental rather than encouraging and empowering, it actually has a physical effect on you. Now, I'm not going to tell you that being a part of a group or even an organization is a bad thing, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it justifies who you are as a person. If you think it's hard to change the lives of 10 people, change their lives forever, you're wrong. I saw it happen every day in Iraq and Afghanistan. But changing the world can happen anywhere and anyone can do it. You need to do sleep or I need to catch up on my sleep. If you can't catch up on your sleep, there is no such thing as catching up. It means nothing but going up to the next level in your life. That's what it's about. It's been a long day. It's been a long night. You've been putting in so many hours, but yet are you in a position to quit? Or you're in a position to go hard. Are you in a position to go strong? Are you willing to dig and go as far as you can in your life? Are you willing to suffer? See, you've got to understand when I talk about champions, when I talk about people who are ultimately successful, you've got to. Remember, these people don't take breaks. They don't know what rest is when everybody's telling you you should rest. So that's how powerful thoughts are. We see that our thoughts affect us and other people's thoughts affect us. So we have to be very careful where we place ourselves and who we hang out with and who we surround ourselves with. So partly here, we've just done this thing. This is called a kinesiology demonstration. Kinesiology is a fancy term for muscle testing. All right. And one of the principles here is you have to eliminate the phrase I can't from your vocabulary. I can't. I wish I were able to, I'll try. Those are all ways of saying I'm not capable. And they're very insidious and it's part of our culture. I actually teach people to wear a rubber band and if they say something negative about themselves, they just snap themselves when they're aware of it. Not like to really hurt yourself, but just to raise your awareness. When you're walking the path and you're going about your day, or well, let's just say your life, do you ever take a moment to think to yourself about your uniqueness, about maybe it's okay to be alone and have some me time? Do you feel that you have to be a part of a group of individuals to make you feel better, to make you feel special, to make you feel that you belong? You belong more than you ever imagined in your life. You are more than just what you think you are. My company, if anyone says I can't or we're not able to, we can't get that done by Friday, you know, they'd say something like, well, we'd need eight people to do that. Well, great, call the temporary agency. It can be done by Friday. And if they'd say something negative, it cost them a dollar. We'd find them. We'd put it in a jar. And at the end of the month, we'd give it to charity. Well, we stopped doing that after a couple of years because no one was doing it anymore because the culture shifted because of that focus. Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or think you can't, either way, you're right. Why is that? Because if you think you can, you will try. And if you try, you're probably going to pull it off. And if you think you can't, you won't. And if you don't try, then you're not going to get it done at all. Make sense? Okay. The five abilities. First, develop the ability to absorb. Part of the challenge here is, you know, try to get it all, you know, and taking notes and thinking about the notes you're taking. I know it's, a, it's almost overload. I understand that. But, but the first key is to get it. You know, I teach the kids in school. I mentioned in one of these other seminars. You don't necessarily have to be a part of a group or follow a crowd to stand out. Think about it. Just because everyone is jumping in the ocean, it doesn't mean you have to. In fact, most of the times you may be jumping in the ocean and there's a school of sharks out there. Do you honestly think the people that you are in the ocean with will save you if the sharks decide to attack? Or maybe you haven't even gave it even a thought that maybe today I shouldn't even be in the ocean swimming. Maybe I'll just take a walk on the beach. Ladies and gentlemen, for many years, people have made the ultimate mistake 
of trying to be like everybody else. But doesn't help you, does it? The greatest you believe that you really believe. You know, some people may not have that opportunity to believe in themselves. Because all their lives, many things has kept them down. The greatest I am the greatest, the greatest of who you really are, do. You really know who you are, can you identify yourself? Do you see yourself less, or do you see yourself? So what starts here can indeed change the world. You will likely fail often, and it will be painful. It will be discouraging. At times, it will test you to your very core. At that darkest moment of the mission is a time when you need to be calm, when you must be calm, when you must be composed, when all your tactical skills, your physical power, and your inner strength must be brought to bear. If you want to change the world, you must be your very best in the darkest moments. If I have learned anything in my time traveling the world, it is the power of hope. More do you ultimately believe you or do you let others control what you are and what they think of you? This is not the time to look down on yourself. This is the time for you to look up, to see the greatest, to see the greatness. Within you, your creation has meaning something. Great Brachyogir, it was a purpose, and there's a purpose now. And that purpose is great. If you're surrounding yourself with people who are not about the right, who aren't trying to pursue dreams and goals and the same aspirations and the same motivations and dedications and determinations as you, you will be affected. Who you surround yourself with matters. It's the compromise that I care about. We don't ever have to compromise ourselves. I promise you, from the front to back, the left to the right, every single one of you in here, man, you were born to leave your fingerprints on history. You can achieve and become absolutely anything. I mean, teachers and doctors and actors and athletes and entertainers and musicians and radiologists and cardiologists and cosmetologists, social workers, I'm telling you anything that you want. And not a teacher, a counselor, a principal, nobody can stop you. I know your circumstances aren't the best. I know sometimes our home environment's not the best, but this is what I know. We're in control of our lives and nobody can take it from you. I, I live with these three principles, and I promise you, man, they will change everything about who you are. Hard work works, make good choices, and value people. The power of one person, a Washington, a Lincoln, King, Mandela, and even a young girl from Pakistan, Malala. One person can change the world by giving people hope. Start each day with a task completed. Find someone to help you through life. Respect everyone. Know that life is not fair and that you will fail often. But if you take some risks, step up when the times are the toughest, face down the bullies, lift up the downtrodden, and never, ever give up. If you do these things, the next generation and the generations that follow will live in a world far better than the one we have today. And what started here will indeed have changed the world for the better. Finally, in SEAL training, there's a bell a brass bell that hangs in the center of the compound for all the students to see. All you have to do to quit is ring the bell. I decided 10 years ago, literally, when this all happened and I went to prison, I wanted to be, I was like, you know what? I want to make this promise. I want to keep it to this family. I come from a lot of brokenness. I don't know where to start. But what I do know is the importance of the choices that I make. And so literally, I wrote the word, changed the world, and I slapped it on my little prison cell window. And every single day I woke up. And I realized, make good choices, great things happen. Aim small, miss small. I promise you, if some of you will just begin to take ownership of your life, and some of you probably are already thriving and doing phenomenal and making good choices, I want to say keep going, don't give up, keep pursuing it, because I promise you, every single one of you were meant to leave your fingerprints on history. But I'm here to tell any of you in here, if you're battling, if you're struggling, you've got to know when to cut anchor and go on about your life. You exist in it. 